Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video, 2E0IQJ. This week's video, we're going to use this little £12 dongle and we're going to turn this Linux box into a full-blown scanner. So this is episode 2 of ham radio software on Linux. So I'll run you through what you get in the pack and I'll run you through where to get the software from and we'll do a quick demonstration. So it's come from a company called Hamtronics amateur radio and electronics store and it cost a grand total of £12 in the packet you get a CD which is not going to use a remote control not going to use an antenna which is no good might be ok just for testing but you won't be able to receive nothing off that not going to use it and this is the unit itself which is a DVB-T FM, DAB, A20, T2 and SDR that's what sort of plugs into your computer, so it's USB, and there's the actual antenna connection. I bought one of these as well, because I had one of these one of these dongles, but it's packed up, so I had to buy another one. And I believe this is a BNC MTX adapter. See there, that plugs in to the dongle there, and allows us to plug in a bigger antenna. So we go on a computer, I'll show you how to set the software up and we'll see if we can receive our first uh, stations. So the program we're after is called GQRX and you'll find that in your package manager. So you can push menu and then package manager. We're going to press on search and type in the GQRX and then press search again. And there is the program, I've already got it installed, you can right click it press mark for installation and then apply once it's downloaded and installed you'll find the program under the internet tab and GQRX but I've got mine in a ham radio programs folder now before starting the program you need to plug in the dongle so I've already done mine and I've connected it to a Skyscan disco and antenna for the purposes of this video so we're going to double click it And the first time you run it, this configuration window appears. And it's device, we're going to, just going to select it on Realtek and press OK. Now the frequency coverage is 23.690 right the way up to 1.765.690. Uh, so it's quite a wide coverage. And you'll see, when we press receiver options, you'll see mode is D mode off. If I change that to narrow FM and type in a frequency, so 145.425 and press the play button there. Give it some volume. You'll hear the grey static come through. So if I key up on this radio and we'll test it. 2E0IQJ testing. Now you probably didn't hear a lot of that coming through with the receiver and that's because the, the frequency correction hasn't been set. So we're just going to press input controls and we're going to change the frequency correction. I'll stick mine on around 75 and the way you find it is just key up, give it your call sign on a lot of frequency that's not in use and then adjust it till you can hear yourself. So I'll leave mine on 77. Give it some volume. Two E zero IQJ testing. Two E zero IQJ testing. So there you go. It worked on two meters. Let's try it on a simplex seventy sevens. Four three four four hundred. So four four three four four hundred. Again, give it some volume. Two E zero IQJ testing. 2E0 IQJ testing. There we go. You can even use it to listen to normal radio stations. So receiver options. Press on narrow uh, uh, wide FM and give it 105800. Give it some volume. March 29. Yes. 
There you go. And if you're watching the display here and suddenly a frequency shoots up there, you can just click it. So that one, or something to shoot up there, and that one. Now its modes is AM, narrow FM, wide FM, low sideband, upper sideband, and carry wave. So for 12 quid, you can't really argue. It gives you a nice cheap scanner to play with to listen on the bands. So there we go, with the help of this £12 dongle with the adapter which was plugged into a bigger antenna we was able to turn this Linux box into a full blown scanner Now you can use it on Windows and you can use it on a Macintosh but for say of 12 quid, gets you listening around the bands I'd like to say a massive thank you to all my new subscribers and welcome to the channel If you like the content I'm doing, feel free to hit the subscription button and hit the bell button to stay notified I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ73s.